Everyone must agree that Egypt is a place full of sensation. It is rich in history and culture that leaves anyone who cares to know intrigued. Under the sands of Egypt lie so many fascinating artifacts as well as secrets that can be educative and horrifying at the same time. Scientists have unearthed numerous things that have left them in awe of this great country, and some give them chills down their spines. Join us as we unravel the 20 most incredible finds in Egypt that scare scientists. Number 20. The Miracle Tunnel when it comes to excavation of sites in Egypt, you can never guess what you'd find. Just by looking here and there, you'll see things that'll make your jaw drop. Back in 2022, archaeologists could not believe their eyes when they came across a vast, spectacular tunnel that was later dubbed a geometric miracle. It was discovered underneath a temple in the ancient ruined city of Tapos Iris Magna on the Egyptian coast. The tunnel is 13 meters below the ground and 2 meters tall. It was hewn through an incredible 1,305 meters of sandstone. According to the Egyptian Ministry of Tourism, this design is said to be similar to the 1,036-meter tunnel of Eupolinos, a 6th century BCE aqueduct on the Greek island of Samos. This tunnel is no doubt a marvel of engineering as the conduit was unprecedented in design and construction in its day. While the Tapos Iris Magna Tunnel isn't without equal, its engineering is nonetheless just as impressive. Of course, nobody thinks of building a tunnel for fun. This geometric miracle must have its purpose, but unfortunately no one knows why it was built. Number 19. Mystery of Mathematics You see, the ancient Egyptians were just so exceptional. Their mathematical knowledge made scientists want to travel back in time to have at least an interaction with these great minds. While archaeologists were out searching the beautiful land of Egypt, they found evidence that shows how much the Egyptians have contributed to modern mathematics. The Egyptians used a single stroke, a heel bone, a coil of rope, a lotus plant, a finger, and a frog, which are six unique symbols composed to represent the number system. A stroke was used for units, a heel bone symbol for tens, and a coiled rope for hundreds. Numbers were usually written left to right, starting with the highest denominator. For example, in the number 4,000, 455, the first number to appear on the left would be 4,000, then 400, then 50 and 4. They have made great contributions to modern mathematics, like designing decimals, fractions, the number 0, negative numbers, and even the value of pi. They had an understanding of solid geometry which they combined with their algebra system to construct the pyramids. The Egyptian practices show their focus on the usefulness of math as a real-world problem-solving tool. The ancient Egyptian civilization used math for measuring time, straight lines, the level of the floodings from the Nile, tax calculation, calculating areas of land, counting money, and even cooking. As revealed by Papyrus, the ancient Egyptians were the first civilization to develop and solve quadratic equations. The general belief is that the Egyptians created the 10 base number system that most of our mathematical system is based on. Are you finding it hard to believe? Just take a look at the pyramids. How can anyone make them without sound mathematical knowledge? You should also consider the absence of Google. Number 18. Oldest Tattoos Tattoos are beautiful, and for most of us, we believe it is a modern invention. If you're one of us, you just have to trash that belief now. Tattoos existed about 5,000 years ago in Africa, precisely in Egypt. Actually, researchers know this right from time, but as time goes on, discovery negates what they believed about ancient tattoos. Because Egyptologists have found many more tattooed female mummies at ancient burial sites, they believed it was part of only female fashion back then. About 100 years ago, a male mummy was found with tattoos. CT scans showed that he was between 18 and 21 years old when he died from a stab wound to the back. At first, scientists thought that the dark smudges on his arm were unimportant until infrared scans revealed that they were tattoos of two slightly overlapping horned animals. One is interpreted to be a wild bull with a long tail and elaborate horns. The other appears to be a Barbary sheep with curving horns and a humped shoulder. A female mummy was also found on the same site with four small S-shaped motifs running down her right shoulder. She also has a motif that is thought to represent batons used in ritual dance.
This discovery shows the history of tattoos, but not the ancient Egyptians' perception of them. Who knows why they had the tattoos? Maybe not for fashion as we do today. Number 17, Cleopatra's Underwater Palace. This is yet another fascinating discovery that reveals the architectural expertise of the ancient Egyptians. In 1996, underwater archaeologists discovered Anti-Rhodos, an island in the eastern harbor of Alexandria. This discovery shows the careful architectural preparation that was carried out around 250 BC. The archaeologists found a good number of impressive structures, such as a temple dedicated to Caesar, an unfinished palace for Mark Antony, a temple dedicated to the Egyptian goddess Isis, columned avenues, monuments, a port, and a royal residence of Cleopatra. Cleopatra's palace at Antirodos existed until a massive earthquake sent off a wave of destruction that reached as far as the shores of Spain. According to a witness of the event, Ammianus Marcellinus, there had been a terrible tremor followed by the sea rolling back far from human sight, revealing magnificent ravines and valleys underneath. That was what sent Cleopatra's palace far beneath the waters. Beyond the amazing structures found underwater are the architectural designs that were unbelievable. Number 16, the Mummy Cache. While archaeologists were carrying out missions in the cemetery of the sacred animals in Saqqara, they uncovered an enormous cache of coffins with mummies and funerary objects dating back to the late period. When the mission started, they discovered other things unrelated to a mummy cache, but during the mission's fourth and latest excavation, they found the cache. The cache contained 150 bronze statues of various sizes depicting several ancient Egyptian deities, including Anubis, Osiris, Isis, and so on. The cache also contained a group of bronze vessels related to the rituals of the goddess Isis and pottery. On the same mission, archaeologists discovered a new group of burial wells, which yielded two 50-colored wooden coffins dating to the late period, about 500 BC. The coffins were found sealed, contain mummies, and are in good condition. It reveals a little of the way and manner the ancient Egyptians lived and buried their corpses. But to find out more, Scientists need to run more tests and also decipher the information in one of the texts found on the site. Number 15. Shabti Dolls. Do you believe in the afterlife? Whatever your answer is, you'll definitely marvel at the beliefs of the ancient Egyptians about the afterlife. They believed the afterlife was a mirror image of life on Earth. After a person dies, their souls do not end their journeys on Earth, but are translated from the earthly plane to the eternal. In keeping with this concept of the mirror image, they also believe in work in the afterlife. Ancient Egyptians worked with all of their might, and their work was valued by the community. Apart from the job they do to support themselves and their families, they also work for the community. This work includes the building projects of the kings, Unlike what you have seen in the movies about slaves constructing buildings for kings, the projects were actually done by skilled craftsmen who volunteered. Now the thing is, the work must never stop. If perchance the worker falls sick or dies, someone else must continue the work. On earth, a friend or relative could fill the place, but in the afterlife, it's a different story. That is where the Shabti dolls come in. These dolls were made specially to accompany the deceased to the afterlife. When the archaeologists discovered these dolls, they were able to know the specific work that they did through the spells called the Shabti formula written on them all. Number 14. Stone Treasure Chest The stone treasure chest is one of the most amazing discoveries found in Egypt. While archaeologists were working at one of the most famous Egyptian archaeological sites, they found a stone chest and a wooden box with unusual contents. This discovery excited the experts as they believed that they may indicate the lost tomb of Pharaoh Thutmose II, who died over 3,500 years ago. It was discovered at the Deir el-Bahari site in Egypt on the banks of the Nile, and it is not far from the famous sites of Luxor and Karnak. Even though the archaeologists have been working on this site since 1960, they discovered the stone chest by chance. It was found among some debris, and it looked like just another block that was used in ancient times for building. In the chest were items all carefully wrapped in linen canvas. In total, there were three bundles of linen. When they were unwrapped, 
One of them contained the skeleton of a goose that had been almost certainly sacrificed for religious purposes. A second one contained what appears to have been the egg of the goose. In the last bundle, what is believed to be an ibis egg was found. An ibis is a bird that had immense symbolic meaning for the ancient Egyptians. Also, the chest contains the name of Pharaoh Thutmose, second the name of the Pharaoh, and all that were found were astonishing, as they indicated that the chest was connected with royalty. It was a good find for archaeologists who believed that it could lead them to the tomb of Thutmose, whose tomb has been lost for millennia. Number 13. The Khufu Ship Have you heard about the solar ship? It is also known as the Khufu Solar Ship, which was uncovered after it has stayed underground for about 5,000 years in the southern side of the Great Pyramid of Cheops. This discovery stirred a global storm of interest because of its structure and how it was made. The ship comprises 1,224 pieces of cedar wood, cut into planks, and assembled into a single vessel. It was constructed using mortise and tenon joints, which are still used in boat building. The length of the boat is 43.4 meters. Its maximum width is 5.9 meters. Its depth is 1.78 meters. Its papyrus-shaped bow is 6 meters high, and its stern is 7 meters high. The ship has 10 oars with 5 on each side, and their lengths range between 6.5 and 8.5 meters. It has a main cabin preceded by the captain's cabin at the front of the boat, and the boat generally weighs about 45 tons. What makes this ship really amazing is that not a single metal nail was used in joining this ship. The ancient Egyptians used the rope method to form the parts of this large ship. Isn't that just amazing? Number 12. The Dendera Light Bulb The Dendera Light is a controversial topic that has got scientists talking. It is not exactly an artifact of potential ancient technology, but the possible depiction of such an artifact on a wall in the temple of the Egyptian goddess Hathor at Dendera. On the wall are figures which show one of the figures directing what looks like a light bulb upwards. With the bulb is a two-armed pillar whose arms are connected to what looks like a cord inside. In front of the bulb is a baboon holding two knives. A Norwegian electrical engineer was the first to propose that this image is an electrical lamp. If you'd agree, it sure looks like an electric lamp. However, some Egyptologists interpret the Dendera light differently. There are inscriptions and other images besides the reliefs, which might point to what the image represents. The inscription shows it might be something about the ancient rituals performed at the time. Take a moment to look closely at this image. What do you think it is? Number 11 Lion Cub Mummies when you visit Egypt today, you possibly might not see lions roaming the country, but as far back as 1000 BC, lions could be seen on the banks of the Nike, and some were even housed as pets in palaces. The lion was associated with the sun and the pharaoh, the most powerful elements of life and death in ancient Egypt. Because of this, we can believe that lions were so common in ancient Egypt, but since different sites have been excavated in the country, only one lion mummy has been discovered. This makes the scientists wonder what actually happened to the lions of Egypt. But now, the archaeologists have discovered five more lion mummies that are most likely cubs. They were discovered at the Bubastean necropolis in Saqqara. Each of them was about three feet in length and was about eight months old. They were found together with a large collection of wooden and bronze statues of cats and other mummified animals, including cobras and crocodiles. Even though this discovery doesn't equal the stories of the possible numbers of lions that roamed ancient Egypt, it still gives hope that more would be discovered. Number 10. The Wishing Cup What came to your mind after you heard the Wishing Cup? A cup that makes wishes? That's not the case. This cup is also known as the Lotus Chalice or Alabaster Chalice. Some even call it the Cup of Wishes. It dates back to around 1323 BC and belongs to ancient Egyptian art. It was discovered on November 4, 1922, during archaeological excavations conducted by English archaeologist and Egyptologist Howard Carter. It was found in the antechamber of the tomb of Tutankhamun, also known as KV-62, located in the Valley of the Kings, west of the ancient city of Thebes, in Egypt. Shortly after its discovery, it became a part of the art collection of the Egyptian Museum in Cairo. The cup stands 18.3 centimeters in height 
28.3 centimeters in width and 16.8 centimeters in depth. It is called an alabaster chalice because it was made of alabaster and carved from a single piece. But why is it called the Cup of Wishes or Wishing Cup? It is simply because of the inscriptions on it which show the wishes of Pharaoh. Therefore, some even call the cup Wishes of Pharaoh. Maybe the cup granted Pharaoh's wishes. You might just want to make a wish around the cup too. Currently, it is on display at the Egyptian Museum in Cairo, Egypt. Number nine, the Great Pyramid's electromagnetic energy. Even if you haven't heard anything about Egypt, you must have heard about the Egyptian pyramids as they are surrounded by many myths and legends. However, experts have little to no reliable information about their physical properties. Recently, physicists took an interest in how the Great Pyramid would interact with electromagnetic waves of a resonant length. Calculations showed that in the resonant state, the pyramid can concentrate electromagnetic energy in its internal chambers as well as under its base, where the third unfinished chamber is located. These conclusions were made based on numerical modeling and analytical methods of physics. By doing different research and trials in the pyramids after trying different methods with different lengths, scientists were able to obtain the electromagnetic field distribution inside the pyramid. The results showed that in the case of the Great Pyramid, if a structure sits atop a substrate that allows for energy to move through it, the pyramid can focus energy through those empty spaces which create high pockets of energy below its base. However, if the researchers could replicate this on a nanoscale, it would have immense applications for creating solar cells. That's simply amazing! Number 8. Buried Hands Discovery of mummies to some of us might be eerie, but to archaeologists, it's what they have seen over time. But in 2011, archaeologists were shocked after they met with a grisly scene when excavating a site in northern Egypt known as Tel El Daba. As they dug a series of pits outside the city's palace walls, they found 12 skeletal hands. They are severed hands with no body attached to them, which makes them wonder as to why they were buried alone. According to researchers, these hands are possibly a cache of battlefield trophies, prizes lopped from enemies' bodies and exchanged for gold in a ritual known as the Gold of Honor. From Egyptian texts and wall images seen over time, this custom has been described, but the discovery of these hands is the first physical evidence of it. The hands date back to between 1620 and 1550 BCE at the time Tel El Daba was known as Avaris. According to ancient accounts, Egyptian warriors severed the hands of slain enemies and presented them to Pharaoh, and in turn, they got gold necklaces on golden pendants in the shape of flies. Number 7. Secret Doors The Great Pyramid must be a structure with most of Egypt's secrets. Inside the pyramid were secret doors which are believed to have probably blocked the entrance to a hidden chamber. These doors have raised serious concerns as to what purpose they serve being there, this pyramid must truly be more mysterious than what we think. The doors were not discovered by the archaeologists' eyes, but instead by the input of a robot sent down into the chamber known as Queen's Chamber, where it uncovered this amazing discovery. Number 6. The Oldest Tomb Orientation When you thought you had seen it all, this discovery shows there are too many mysteries in Egypt that will intrigue you. This tomb was specially built to catch the rays of the rising sun in such a fashion that the place where the statue of the governor was meant to be installed was flooded with light. Once researchers were able to identify the period of the tomb's creation, they were able to conclude that the Egyptians used mathematical knowledge to calculate the position of the sun and the orientation of its rays to build their monuments. You must agree that it is an impressive architecture. Whoever made that was able to design the tomb in a way that perfectly registered the whole solar cycle without using any sophisticated instrument. Now, it's time for today's subscriber pick. By now you must know that Egypt is full of mysteries and the more you look, the more your chances of finding strange things. Take a look at this mysterious door guarded by two warrior statues. Most likely, back in the days when this door was built, humans would be guarding it, but now it is guarded by statues like the Shabti dolls continuing their works in the afterlife. What could be behind this closed door? Definitely a discovery in Egypt that would scare scientists. Number 5. First Pregnant Mummy Since mummies have been discovered in Egypt, no one has seen a pregnant mummy. 
This is why this discovery is of great interest. Scientists marveled when they found a pregnant mummy with the fetus preserved. How did this even happen? According to the team of researchers, normally, corpses' blood pH levels drop significantly over time, meaning the fetus would have been exposed to a highly acidic uterine environment that dissolved its bones. However, the process of mummification kept the mother's bones from dissolving and almost hermetically sealed the uterus, preserving the fetus's soft tissue inside the womb. It is unclear why the ancient Egyptians left the fetus in the mother's womb but removed her other organs, which is a normal mummification practice. But it is really amazing to see a pregnant mummy as old as this one with its fetus preserved. Number 4. Ben Ben Stone this stone is called the Ben-Ben Stone. It is an object found in the mythology of ancient Egypt. It has a conical shape and it's believed to be of extraterrestrial origin. This stone derived its name from an architectural term used for the tip of an obelisk or the capstone placed on top of a pyramid. The Ben-Ben Stone is a symbol of the phoenix, which could revive itself and be reborn again. It also represents the cycle of the seasons. It was discovered in the Temple of the Phoenix, which was within the precinct of the Great Sun Temple of Heliopolis. Perhaps the stone was seen by Egyptians as the seed of the legendary bird, since Ben meant fertilization in their language. Legend has it that Ben-Ben was the mound that arose from the primordial waters of Nu, in which the creator god Atum shaped the world. According to another story, the stone was the hill on which Atum first landed, and when he did, he discovered he was alone and surrounded by darkness, and so he began the work of creation. Hmm, interesting. What creation story do you know? Number 3. Board Game of Death This already sounds scary, but is it as scary as the name suggests? This game is called Senate, and it emerged in Egypt about 5,000 years ago. It was played at all levels of Egyptian society until it fell out of favor 2,500 years after it emerged. It is believed that this game is more than just a game as it took on a spiritual hue, and yes, it was used to communicate with the dead. According to experts who studied ancient Egypt, the Senate was played by two competitors, each with five pawns that were placed on a grid of 30 squares arranged in three rows of 10. Then, by roll of a dice, players would move their pawns, with the goal being to have all five of your pawns reach the finish point at the lower right corner of the board. However, over time, Egyptian texts reportedly began to describe the game as depicting the movement of the soul through the Egyptian realm of the dead. The board has a symbol on one square for water which represents a lake or river that Egyptians felt the soul encountered on its journey through the underworld. If you could use the board game of death, who would you want to communicate with? Number 2. Saqqara Bird Leonardo da Vinci's plans were certainly a precursor of flight. With his drawings of sails, gliders, and propellers, however, we find references to flying machines or devices that could somehow allow our ancestors to fly in many mythologies of the past. Are they just legends? There are several discoveries called out-of-place artifacts, known as uparts for short. They are controversial finds, but are also interesting. They make us understand the extent of ancient advanced technology, and one of them is the Saqqara bird, or Saqqara glider. An archaeological expedition found a bird-shaped artifact when excavating a tomb in Saqqara. This artifact made of sycamore maple wood and a cloth with the word Padi Iman dates back to 200 BC. The artifact does not have any carvings to represent the feathers of a bird, which suggests that the one who carved it might not intend to carve a bird. It could be anything from a ritual object to a toy or a weather vane to be placed on sacred boats to indicate the direction of the wind. The first person to see this artifact differently was Khalil Messiha, professor of artistic anatomy at the University of Helwan. He seemed to recognize the scale model of a glider but was lacking in the tail. And he didn't just recognize this and keep it to himself. He deemed it fit to write it down. Since then, this artifact has been rightly or wrongly called the Saqqara Glider or the Plain of Pharaoh. The Egyptian Ministry of Culture seemed to buy Khalil's idea as they put together a commission to shed light on the mystery, and the experts agreed on the uniqueness of the piece, claiming it was not a simple toy, but a model that could have aerodynamic value. Number 1. Roman Mummy 
Archaeologists found a bejeweled mummy dressed in Roman robes in the sands of Egypt's Bahariya oasis while excavating the site. It was in a decorated gypsum sarcophagus, and it belonged to a female who died in the Greco-Roman period about 2,300 years ago. The mummy points to the existence of a large Greco-Roman necropolis nearby, which eventually led to archaeologists uncovering 14 Greco-Roman tombs at the site dating to the 3rd century BC. In the tomb were also four anthropoid masks made of plaster, a collection of coins, clay and glass vessels of different shapes and sizes, and a sheet of gold depicting Imseti, Duamutef, Hapi, and Kebesenuef, the four sons of the ancient Egyptian sky god, Horus. If there's anything super amazing about this find, it is the unique interior design of the tombs. They consist of a long stairway leading to a corridor that ends in a hall. Each corner of the hall contains mastabas, which means rectangular structures found above many Egyptian tombs that were used in burning the deceased. This is just one of the discoveries that has made archaeologists develop more interest in excavating different sites in Egypt, and every day it's more like they will never stop making discoveries that will amaze and sometimes scare them. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.